Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these cool uh, and simple menu animations uh, all inside Adobe XD and um, I haven't really taken inspiration from anywhere, these are all my own creations and as you can see they're very clean, very well timed and very smooth as well. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Okay, I want you guys to right now in the comments tell me which effect is your favorite out of the three. One, two or three. Place that in the comments and tell me why you like it. Now, uh, before we start, I will have the final XD file in the description so you can download it and follow along if you want or you just take it and you can incorporate it into your own designs. So here what I'm going to do is create a rectangle, a basic rectangle to uh, showcase a mobile screen. This could be anything. This could be, uh, you know, a desktop or anything, whatever uh, artboard size you want, whatever rectangle you want, you can have here. Just going to give this a 50 pixels border radius and give it a shadow as well, say about um, 24 by 48 to give it like a good depth uh, effect and um, also give it like 20% opacity so that you know I can see the mobile screen. This could be more, this could be 150. Uh, yeah, this is much better. Now what I'm gonna do here is for the first design, I'm first gonna create a quick ellipse uh, and this ellipse can be anything. Uh, again, we're not going for like uh, precise pixel perfect designs here. These are more snippets and um, this should be about this big, right? and uh, maybe slightly smaller than this. Perfect. And I want this to be black. Just make sure your artboard isn't too big, otherwise you'll end up making mistakes of having like a big artboard. And I want this to be about uh, 40 by 40. So maybe a little more, you know, 80 by 80 would be better for this case. Perfect. And we have this button here. I want to give this a shadow of 12 by 24. Uh, and which is not a lot, it's just uh, just so that, you know, there's a bit of depth, not too much. And I've already downloaded um, the plus icon or the add icon uh, from feathericons.com and it's a free and open source resource so you can just download and get started. I want this to be, ba uh, to be big and white and I want this to be about 50% pixels in size or maybe let's do 60 that's perfect and let's the size be uh, the width of the border be about five perfect you can you know change this up uh, based on your theme as well now the next thing that we need to do here is m just duplicate this uh, rectangle here and make this uh, and remove the shadow and make this a black color and I want this to be centered over this perfect now what I want to do is create a triangle and in an obxd there's a tool called a polygon tool on the left um, which you can activate and if you hold shift and just drag out you will create a perfect triangle now that we have a triangle ready and we'll just rotate it about um, you know just so it's in line with this plus so i'd say 30 degrees uh, of rotation here and make sure that uh, this edge covers this side of the rectangle here. So what I want to do is now that I've created this triangle, I want to bring uh, the anchor points, just double click on the triangle and bring the anchor points in, uh, in, in such a way that you basically, you can't really see the triangle anymore. It's just a line now. So make sure it's diagonally placed like this uh, alongside the plus icon. You want this rectangle and this path, which we had created and say subtract from the top right here. So just click on subtract and you'll have a basic uh, shape here, which is a subtraction. Now what I'll do is go, go inside this subtraction, select the path. And what I want to do is enter on the path. Just click enter and it will allow you to select the anchor points. Just open up this triangle like so. And uh, make try and not add any other uh, anchor points and just make sure that it covers uh, you know, your entire area like this. So something like this, but you know, uh, slightly bigger even maybe, yeah. So make sure that these anchor points not too far away, just far enough to cover this uh, entire rectangle in, um, in, in its entirety. And 
there you go you can now let go and you can work on the imperfections later but now this is your first artboard and if I duplicate this artboard uh, what I can do is just go back and select the subtraction from the layers panel on the left just select the subtraction select the path and just e press enter on the path and just bring these back to what they were originally so just just one line and you can't really see anything else and if you remove that now you, as you can see there's no uh, line or anything just like that uh, now that we have this what I'll be adding are just two list items which need to go on the bottom right here just to give uh, it some options right here and again there doesn't need to be pixel perfect what I'll do is just place it 180 pixels from this plus icon perfect and uh, I can place this at a bigger distance so just say let's say 80 pixels perfect now we have two options here and what I'll do is not place this inside uh, the first artboard just leave it just like that in the second artboard in the second artboard I'll rotate the plus icon to make it a basic cross or a basic close icon perfect now we'll just quickly do the prototype click on the circle and drag the arrow to the second artboard say auto animate ease out is uh, what we want here and 0 0.6 seconds and just for the safety of it just say fixed position when scrolling just for the safety otherwise we don't need it and if I click on this plus icon see how it animates and it rotates here right here if you want to add a little bit more zest to it just copy these uh, two list items place them here and you know since they're white you really can't see them what you can do is say command comma to hide them and there you go now if you prototype this again see a smoother animation and you can make this come back by clicking on the X right here and bringing it back to the first artboard just like that so if I rotate this perfect and if I bring this out perfect now we have this good first design done now what I'm gonna do is just because I'm feeling a little lazy what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this artboard and remove this plus icon as well as the circle from here so we have something already ready uh, one thing I'll do is remove the subtraction because I don't want that to come in between uh, and the group and the list items as well perfect now for the second one what I'm thinking is create another rectangle over this uh, so it covers some portion of this and I want just two uh, edges of this to have a border radius so what I'm going to do is allot it uh, 150 I think that's what the rectangle here is yeah perfect and 150 on the next uh, radius as well but we'll leave everything else to be zero remove the border and give this fill a black perfect now again I'll put in a menu icon which I've already downloaded from feather icons and I'll just increase the size of this that's that's more than enough and make sure this is white make sure this is slightly smaller this is 114 let's make this 100 maybe even smaller maybe 80 perfect and I'll make the border size 4 pixels perfect that's that's exactly what we want and place it right here and make sure it's 80 pixels from the bottom so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 perfect now that we have uh, the bottom uh, the upper navigation ready now what we're going to do is create the actual slide in menu now the menu actually doesn't slide in it's a design that I call a mist so it appears like a mist it fades in uh, gradually from the left to the right and over this we're just gonna just for sure we're gonna place an image um, because a lot of menus do have like an image or a graphic to graphic at the top so again we're gonna do the 150 thing with this but just on one edge like that and I want to create an ellipse right next to this and I want to make sure that the ellipse has no border and has a linear gradient so both of these on the linear gradient should be white and one should be fully opaque the other one on the right should be transparent completely so something like this if I take the circle outside you'll understand so something like this uh, needs to be done so half white and half transparent just like that I'm gonna bring this closer inside this artboard basically and just the white background and the circle I'll select together and 
I'm going to basically add both of these from the uh, top right here. And I'll make sure that the circle is outside the bounds like this, something like this. And uh, that's about it. Now what I want to do is um, also reduce the opacity of this image to zero. And I want to make sure that the circle is um, f slightly further away and make sure the circle has the linear gradient activated. So something like this. So white on one side, just like that, if in case the circle loses its gradient and the other side should be zero. See how it kind of takes up in the, this rectangle as well. And I'll bring the, the two circles together as much as possible. So something like this, not too much actually, that's it. And uh, I'll just select this circle and make sure that the circle is slightly further away from this. So something like that, right? And I'll make sure that this rectangle is um, low in opacity. So let's do 0% opacity and the mist effect will come. So if I click on this artboard and say Command D to duplicate it, the other artboard I want to increase the opacity of all these elements to 100. And also I want to basically bring this circle to the other end. So make sure that the circle is slightly towards here. One more thing that I need to do is place a, a shaded background at the back. So make sure that this is 150 uh, pixels on, or on the border radius all the way around and it should be black as well. Make sure that this is about 50% in opacity. Place it behind the image as well as this white background. So now that you get this effect. Now for this, what I'm going to do is say, uh, go to properties and uh, go to prototype and click on this burger icon. And from here, I want to drag the arrow to the second artboard and click auto animate, ease out. And let's give this about one second. Uh, ideally, you want this to be shorter, but for the sake of the effect, let's do this. So if I click on the menu, see how it fades in from the left. Now it's still really fast. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is select the circle, which is inside this union and drag this circle closer. So somewhere here, now that we'll get a, a more smoother and slower effect. So if I click on this burger, see how it comes in and make sure that the circle on top is slightly further away so that it doesn't fly in into the artboard just like that. So I'll click on this. I click on the menu and see how it fades in from the left. It's a nice little touch. You can work on this and it's an interesting thing. So uh, right here, I'm just going to duplicate that the earlier artboards because again, I'm lazy. So I want this rectangle and remove everything else on this artboard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, ripple effect, which ripples from inside a menu. For that, what I'm going to do is create a rectangle. And I'm just going to make sure it's a square actually. And I'll bring this square to the bottom right here and give this, give the, this one corner a border radius of 150, which is the third one. Perfect. And the other corners as well, let's just give all uh, two of these at least. And uh, I'll change the color to a black. Perfect. And once again, I'm going to bring in another icon. Again, picked on off from an open source called uh, Feather Icons. And I want this to be white. And let's give this four. And make, make sure this is smaller. This is too big. So maybe, uh, maybe 80 pixels should be good. Perfect. Let's bring this in to the center just like that. Now we have our filter options at the bottom. You can make this smaller or bigger. I'm just using a bigger size for the effect. And just group these two together. And for the effect to take place, we want to make an ellipse. Uh, it's a basic ellipse. People think it's a complicated animation, but it's actually all about timing and simplicity in this case. So make sure that this ellipse covers the entirety of the artboard or the entirety of the rectangle in this case. Make sure this is also black in color. And that is all that you need. Now, there are two steps that you need to take to create the ripple effect quickly. So create another ellipse over this, but make sure that this ellipse just covers, just about covers this much area, which is being covered by this menu. So this is, this is all right. And I'll bring this circle over this artboard. Make sure this is centered. 
and I'll, cl I'll click both of these, select both of these. I want to basically create the circle, select both of these and say mask. So command shift M or control shift M for windows and just mask it like this. One more mask we'll have to create is just duplicate this rectangle, which is the basically the artboard or the iPhone and make sure this is at the top. Select both of these, the black round uh, shape and the white uh, rectangle and mask it once again. Now you have another shape, which is lying basically on top of the first shape. So basically I'll duplicate this artboard and first of all, I'm gonna select this black shape and make this a white. And also change the color of this icon to black. Since this is an SVG, we can do that. And the circle at the black, now you can see this. I'm just gonna uh, click on this and just expand this mask, basically. So just click on this mask group and select the mask circle, which is the smaller circle. And make sure this is now as big. And just shift it to be as big as this, right? To be as big as this artboard, perfect. And that's all we want. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and make the list items. So in this case, we have four list items, but what we do with those list items is very important. So I'm gonna create rectangles over each of these list items and just place them over each. Just like that, just duplicate it and pl place them over each of them, perfect make sure the entirety of the icons and the text is covered out and what i want you to do is select the rectangle on top and also the group or the list item at the bottom so group 10 and rectangle 29 go together so i'm just going to say command shift m or control shift m to mask them and there it is idly masked and i'll do this for all these list items and i'll skip to the good part there you go now that i've masked everything in what i want to do is basically copy this copy all of these and put them on the first artboard just like that. You can't really see them because they're white. And I'm gonna select each of these and I'm gonna select the group inside that, which is the list items. And I'm gonna drag them a lot. So the first one has to be uh, the furthest away from its mask. So really far away. And you really, really won't see it moving because it's a mask. And I'll click this and I'll bring this down also quite a bit, but not too much a little less than what we did with the first one. And we're just gonna decrease the amount of distance that each list item has to travel. And uh, the last one will be very close by. So the ones which are close to their mask will take a little more time to reach their mask, uh, if that makes sense to you. Uh, it'll make sense once I actually prototype this. So if I click here and I click on this and I bring the arrow to the second artboard, and I say auto animate and ease out is fine, but we want to change this from one second to 0 0.6 seconds. And there we go. Let's try this animation out. So if I click on this, see how it animates and it changes the color here. And all these items are also uh, gradually come in. So I'll do the same for this second one and bring it back so that you can see the effect simultaneously. So if I click on this, see how it changes to white and these list items come slowly in and they go slowly out as well. This is really smooth, this is really nice. Uh, right now my computer is a little laggy, but it works, right? So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon right next to it. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video every Monday and Thursday. God bless.